He's choking me. He's choking me. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, okay, all right, stop. Stop. Okay. He just wants to deliver food. Please, 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 please. Police have been part of daily life in Victoria throughout the past two months. They're stopping cars at checkpoints, door knocking to make sure people are complying with quarantine and enforcing mask wearing. But some believe the measures have gone too far. There's an over-policing. It's a sort of sledgehammer approach. Inexcusable and unlimited powers given to the Victorian police. Early September, pregnant mum Zoe Bueller was arrested for incitement after promoting a protest event on Facebook. I was scared that I was just being kidnapped by people. They obviously weren't in uniforms. The context of this arrest and hundreds of others is the Victorian government's state of emergency and disaster. Police are not mucking about. Police and emergency service workers can be appointed as authorised officers who can enforce public health directions like breaking curfew or not wearing a mask. But now it's going one step further. The Victorian government is debating an amendment to the bill that would expand the definition of who could be an authorised officer and it would give power to the authorised officers to arrest and indefinitely detain people who are merely suspected of being someone who could potentially breach the health regulations. The Premier believes the bill strikes the right balance. This strategy is working. But critics are worried Victoria is becoming a police state. It empowers these unqualified, untrained citizens to detain fellow citizens. We are very uncomfortable with the additional powers it gives police. 